Hi everyone, this is Sarah Lisi. Today I am going to show you how to create an academic poster that pops out. I am going to show you a few tools in InDesign that I believe could be helpful. And I hope will also inspire you to create something great. So first step, let's create a new document in InDesign. You can pick if you want it for print or web, then uncheck the facing page option since we only need one page. Then enter the dimension in inches that will get converted into pickers actually. Um, I'm also going to add four columns with some space in between that will be helpful um, and add bleed in case I want to print it. Okay, so now that we have our document open, we can get started. As you can see, the tools on the top are really similar to any editing software. I am going to start with changing the font and the size of the title. Pretty basic so far. Now let's add some kind of background. Let's create a new layer and use the rectangle tool to add a solid color to the back. You can find basic colors looking through swatches on the right. I already saved the ones that I'll be using in the library. So I'm going to add a fill-in color to the title as well and create a header. Um, but then I'm not sure that I'm happy with the top and bottom spacing of the text. Um, so I'm going to go to Object, Text Frame Option and increase the spacing. Now I'm going to create four text frames. One of the great things in InDesign is how you can connect them together. That will save you time from copying and pasting several times. To link the frames, click on the bottom right square of the text frame, then click into the next frame, and so on. I'm then going to place the text from an external document. The shortcut is Command D for Mac users and Control D for PC users. As you can see, when you increase the size of the text, it will spread to the other frames. This is really helpful if you have an important amount of text that you want to lay out. If you have any difficulty finding a text frame you just created, it also helps to hide the background layer. I'm going to use a rectangle frame tool to add an image. Again, Command D or Control D to import the document. Um, the image is perfect but need to be resized. To resize it proportionally, press Shift while adjusting the image. The background seems a little bit plain, so I'm going to use a scissor tool to create a new design. Um, this tool is quite simple. Now, when you use the scissors to cut an object in two, remember to close the paths of both objects using the path finder in the right. Otherwise, you might not be able to edit them the way you want.
Now don't hesitate to play around with shape and effects. Um, you can do a lot with basic shapes if you add dark shadow, glow or feather. Okay, so I want the text to have some kind of margin in the text frame. So at the top, next to the layout option, you can increase or decrease the margin. I also would like the circle to have some space in between it and the text. For that, you need to use the text wrap option that you can find under window. You can use the pen tool to create any shape you want. I'm going to use it to emphasize the growth of the graph. If at any time you want to see what your published version would look like without the guides, go to view, screen mode and preview. In the preview mode, you can see what might need to be fixed. For example, one of the two circles disappeared, probably when I changed the order of the layers. Okay, so we're almost there. I just need to clean up the pieces. I'm just going to add the last image. Et voilà, that's all for today. I hope this video helped you learn a bit about the multiple possibilities that InDesign has to offer and that it will make it easier on you to use a program in the future. Good luck!